I want a van like that. That one looks good. When I'm done fishing, I'm getting a van like that. It's gonna be nice when I'm done. All right, YouTube. I don't really know what to say, so I'm just gonna start talking. I'm worried. <laughs> you know, this whole, this whole experience has been very anxiety provoking because nothing is assured and I'm very much not knowing what's happening here. I'm just a Jersey boy out in Alaska trying to figure out the fish business and how I can make $25,000 so I can buy and build a van. But, I've got a lot of ideas, which is great. If you have a lot of ideas, that's a good thing and a blessing. At the same time, having a lot of ideas can also be a curse. You don't want to be the dog that missed the roast while you were chasing the bone. I'm really fighting hard against that today. Because, with all that I hear from all the people that I meet on a daily basis, I can change my plan six times in the same hour. Just from learning something new, hearing some other, hearing someone else talk, and it's really tough to pin down a job when you're changing your plan all the time. So, you, YouTuber, I want you to be flexible if you try this. I also want you to be rigid. I don't know how you find that balance in between those two, but when you come out here, regardless of how much of my stuff you watch, regardless of everything that I say, I'm just another voice out here. And you're gonna hear a lot of voices when you come out here. And they're gonna tell you a lot of conflicting things a lot of people are going to confirm each of those conflicting sides. What you need to do is you got to make a choice, you got to stick to it. And look at the options you have, make the best of what you have, and then pursue one way. Right now, I'm hearing a lot of great things about Bristol Bay and how there's it's a longer fishery, how, or rather, how it's a shorter fishery with more fish and a lot of money. And I'm also hearing that purse seeners here make a competitive amount per hand compared to gill netters in Bristol Bay. I've also heard Bristol Bay makes a lot more than the purse seeners do, even if you're just gill netting, which is a lot less volume per uh, per throw, but that's neither here nor there. What travel would cost would be a lot. And you're gonna need to factor in what travel cost is gonna be between these places. A flight from Cordova to Bristol Bay would cost me about $1,500. Now, I've got about 2,000 and and trying to feed myself, I'm not even paying for a roof. There's no money I need to pay here. Just to feed myself, I'm running through money pretty quick. Uh, and so, $2,000, if I spent 500 sustaining myself here, and then 1,500 getting to Bristol Bay in about a month, I'd have zero or less. So, I guess, in this I guess in this situation, I'm kind of lucky. This choice is made for me. I'm staying in Cordova, and I'm fishing out of the Prince William Sound in Copper River. I'm going to stay until I make enough money that I can pay for my van. After the salmon fishery, there's silverfish, and then there's always winter. 
and winter brings crab. It's a much harder fishery to be fishing, but it's work. And if you need work, the work is there for you. Being green, I'm going to have less of a share than other deckhands might have. Or some deckhands might be making 25000 for the summer. I'm going to be making ten. i I'm making five. We're going to have to find out depending on the deal I can cut. But here's the point. Jumping around from place to place, looking for information costs money. If you don't have the money, you might end up being where you are and needing to commit there. And that is okay. Alaska has opportunity in fish a lot of places. And if you find yourself at the right place in the right time, you can come out okay. What we're going to find out over the next few months is... If I come out okay, starting out in Knack Knack in Bristol Bay, in processing, making only about enough to sustain myself through here, we're going to find out if that, leading me to Cordova, for the early season, early salmon, hopefully gill netting and then seining, we're going to see if that summer can lead me to $25,000 that can pay for my van. And if it doesn't, it'll be partial success. If it does be a complete success but the fact that I got out of the door and tried that's success enough and that is something I want you to leave with trying is going to be worth it even if you don't come out on top improvise your way through YouTube I'm going to go chop some wood I'm going to get this fire burning I'm going to hit that sauna and relax settle with these new decisions, and then, very soon, I will check in with you again. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.